Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here. Trying to tell you one more again what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know about relationships. Let's talk about it. So some of you may be in the process of being groomed and you don't even know it by a narcissist. Now, when you think about being groomed um, or grooming, you think about like preparing something like say, oh, you're grooming yourself to go out, you know, whatever. Um, so this is similar to what a narcissist is doing. Their intentions are to get you ready for the manipulation and all the tricks that they're going to do and the mind games and all of that. Okay. So now here's the deal. What you got to realize that narcissists, they wear masks, all right? The person that you are interacting with or the person you think you're interacting with is not who they really are. What they do is they adjust to the person that's in front of them. Whoever the target is, there is a process that they have to go through to find out who you really are so they know what they have to do. Now, who do they look for? They look for people that have very strong traits of empathy, okay? So what does that mean? Somebody who is uh, going to give trust to someone who doesn't deserve it. That'd be like giving the keys to your home to someone that you just met. And the only reason that you're doing it is because you said they seem real nice. Oh, they were so nice. I just enjoyed, I talked to them for about five, 10 minutes and you know, I just felt really compelled to give them the keys to my house. You wouldn't do that. Hopefully you wouldn't do that. Um, you know, also you see the good in everyone. Is this you? Like you're blinded typically by someone's pain, someone's tragedy, um, someone's difficulty, because why? It reminds you of a time when you had your own pain and you said, oh my God, you know, I, I, I wouldn't want anybody to feel that way. And so you know that there is good in you. You know that you had great intentions. So there you go. All right. Also, you ignored red flags and you, in, you ignore your instincts totally. All right. You feel it. You see it but you just walk right on past it over the cliff. Ah, yeah. Okay. So we don't want to do that, but that's what the narcissist looks for. So now let's look at the characteristics. All right. Of the grooming process. All right. First thing is they mirror you. All right. This is something that, you know, they may teach even when you're talking about how to win friends and influence people to mirror them, mirror their, 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 their mannerisms, their behavior. But with the narcissist, what they're doing is they're mimicking your interests. Oh, you like that? Oh, I like that too. You know, oh my God, I mean, that's my favorite restaurant. That's crazy. <laughs> it's just an act. They're just mirroring you, just getting your information. And that leads us to the next one, data mining. They have to gather all the information about you all right, so that they can prepare your file. Yeah, the narcissist has a file on everybody, a mental file, so that they want to know what are, what are your hopes, what are your dreams, what are your your your, um, your failures, what's your pain, all of this, so that they can create the mask specifically for you. Also, they fabricate empathy. They don't have the ability to feel any empathy, but at the same time, if you seem to be going through something, a painful situation, they can say, oh my God, you know, I, I'm i sorry that you're going through this. You know, it just breaks my heart. You know, the, the way they treat you, you know, you don't deserve this, whatever. Okay. All right. But at the same time, listen, you know, if someone's crying, you know, if someone appears to be sad. All right. You respond accordingly. That's what they do. Future faking. Y'all probably have heard of this one. Understanding. OK, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Well, I want to go there and I want to do the same thing. Right. OK. You want this kind of car? That's your dream car. Oh, my God. That's my dream car. <laughs> you want to live on oh, Colorado? Listen, I got pictures of Colorado on my wall right now. That's where I've always wanted to go since I was a child. This is crazy. It's all a lie, though. Yeah. Okay. So now, once I have all this information and I've done all of my due diligence, now I create the mask specifically for you. You know, we put it down in this. We create the mold. And now, when you look at me, you see yourself and you feel very, very comfortable. 
Okay. So here's what I need you to know. All right. First of all, knowledge is power. You know, scripture talks about we perish for a lack of knowledge. Now that you're armed with this information, you know exactly what to do or you know exactly what you're seeing. Okay. So that you can say, wait a minute, heard about this red flag. And whenever it seems too good to be true, typically it, it really is. All right. So one thing you also have to realize is that a person's true identity, a tr their true identity is revealed in adversity. All right. If everything's going great and wonderful first two weeks, three weeks, and <clears throat> you know, you seem like, oh my God, this is just a match made in heaven. You don't know this person. You need to see them mad. You need to see them sad for you to really know what's going on. Because guess what? You're definitely going to see the narcissist mad and sad after you get pulled into their trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's what you need to understand. All right. If, and, and, and ask yourself these questions, do you think that right now, possibly for you, that you're being groomed. Some of you are in this process right as I am saying this. And you're like, oh my God, he's do that's what he's doing, Jesus. All right. But are you too afraid to walk away? Because now your heart's invested. All right. And now just to walk away, the, you're like, all right, I thought this was the guy, I thought this was the one. I thought this was my chance. I'm getting older now. And I, I feel like I don't have that many more chances. And if I walk away from this, what if I'm walking away from my, you know, you got all this going through your mind, right? And are you just ignoring flat out red flags and your instinct? God gave you your instinct for a reason, not to ignore it, right? But to be a true indicator of there's danger, Real Robinson, danger, Yes, if you remember Lost in Space, all right? So here's my question to you. If you need help with this, because it just seems so confusing, it's frustrating, so many rules, to what to do, not to do, all this kind of stuff, just hit me up. We could talk about it, you know what I'm saying? You can find out how coaching can help you to, do, to, to weed through the weeds of all of this and how you can help to protect yourself from these predators. Just go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Okay, schedule your free 30 minute consultation and we'll have a conversation about it. All right. Also, join me every Wednesday. Okay, every Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my closed Facebook group just for women. It's called the Diamond Mine. Yeah, that's what we get into it. And we have these meaty conversations and it's an exchange, just a chat, you know, between you and I. All right. We have a lot of fun in there. So last week, what we talked about is online dating even worth it. I know a lot of you have a lot of horror stories for online dating, um, and it just can seem very frustration, frustrating how to, you know, weed through all of it, what to do, what not to do, um, and you really need to be knowledgeable, all right? Is it even for you, okay? Some of you might be just getting out of a relationship, and you know, maybe you were in it for a long time, and you need to know, is this something that I want to try? So anyway, uh, go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, and you can get that information on how to join the Diamond Mine. Uh, the first month is just one penny. So you can get in there, kick the tires, see if it's something that you like, but pretty sure that you will. All right. So listen, I'm out of here and I appreciate you for stopping by, listening. If you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe. But if you are being groomed right now, okay, you need to gather all your belongings and run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. All right. Peace.